it's been almost a year since uh, Ontario went into lockdown because of COVID-19 and we still are under lockdown. And what's interesting is uh, the people are living in Toronto now and they live in Toronto, they want to escape Toronto. They move into uh, rural areas of Ontario. They move into small towns, small places further from Toronto, sometimes even like two hours drive from Toronto. Uh, places like Collingwood, Muskoka, uh, places like our town that we live in. And um, that is an in interesting uh, switch uh, in, uh, in the perspective. I can understand because if you live in a small apartment or if you live in a small condo and during lockdown you can't go out much, you can't do much. Uh, you have to stay in your apartment, you have to stay in your condo. The only thing you can do is just walk around uh, downtown, which is not sometimes not really fun. And uh, some people, they want to have a better quality of their life. They want to have a better quality of their home. That's why uh, a lot of people moving out from Toronto to suburbs and they, uh, they live in their apartments and they are buying homes or they renting homes, houses where you will have a bigger lot, where you will have a, a backyard, where you will have a, like a street, a quiet street, where you will have a more nature surrounding you. Saying that, I just want to remind you that we have a few videos about what life in small towns is. And another reason, now a lot of people, they work from home, they don't go to work, they don't have to drive to work. They obviously want to have a better living conditions. There's nothing wrong to, to live in an apartment, there's nothing wrong to live in a condo. But if you're stuck at home, if you have a family, if your kids are uh, learning from home right now, it's uh, much better uh to live in a house than in a condo you will have a more space you will have a more privacy you will have a more uh green space around you you will have a better roads uh, you will have a better you, you won't have a problem with traffic you won't have a problem with a lot of things that people who live in toronto in downtown toronto they face right now so uh those are main reasons why people live in toronto right now they live in big city they and now it's uh, not much uh, advantages to live in Toronto. Like before you could say that, oh, you have uh, access to great restaurants, to a lot of foods, to theaters, to concerts, to all those uh, things that uh, people who live in rural, rural areas or in the suburbs, they have to drive to or for, or they, uh, they don't have it like in the walking distance. And, but now it's gone because of uh, COVID, because of uh, lockdown. Now all those options are gone. So this is uh, just uh, some uh, updates of what's going on now. I was surprised to learn this, to learn about this, that people really massively live in uh, Toronto right now. And I, we were uh, driving, recently we were driving to, um, we were driving with our dog, Joy, uh, Samoy dog, to meet another dog uh, in uh, Muskoka. And we were talking to people there who live there and they saying that a lot of people who has cottages uh, in Muskoka, they now, and, and they live in Toronto, but they have cottages in Muskoka. They moved right now to Muskoka and they fill their places. They go to their grocery stores, they go to their uh, schools when it's open. So they uh, basically, they move their residency from Toronto to Muskoka, which is for them right now, it makes more sense. Muskoka is a very beautiful place in Ontario and you live right now. If you have a cottage there or you can rent a cottage there, but to rent a cottage or to rent a house, it's very expensive right now. Uh, it's even more expensive than it was before. If you haven't moved to Canada yet and you're still thinking about this, where to live, uh, where to go and what uh, places to rent or to buy if you have money to buy, uh, that's the, one of the things to consider. Uh, to live in a rural area, to, to find some place in a rural area, to find some place in a suburb, in small towns or cities, uh, smaller cities than Toronto. And you will probably will have a, especially right now, you probably will have a more quality life uh, than uh, versus Toronto versus uh, living in downtown. So uh, let me know what you think about this. Would you still prefer to live in Toronto even during lockdown or you would prefer to live in a uh, house with a little bit of land with the backyard or front yard that you can enjoy during living? So uh, 
please uh, let me know what you think and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe i want to ask you a favor uh we recently launched a new channel about our dog about our samoy dog if you uh would be kind enough to subscribe to, our, to this channel and give a few thumbs up to the to the few videos that we did we just started there is not much video but we were thinking about doing this uh, because a lot of people were asking about our dog what kind of dog we have uh, what breed we are we have so we decided to launch a channel about the dog thank you so much for being with us thank you so much for watching our videos and i'll see you next time bye now